can Medicare or Medicaid take part of your personal injury settlement? Well, in this scenario, I had a client, Stacy. She was involved in an auto accident. She went to the hospital. She was hurt pretty bad, so she was there for quite a while. She got a lot of treatment, and her treatment was paid for by Medicaid. Well, the claim against the at-fault driver was ready to resolve, and in order to figure out how much of the claim would actually go into her pocket, we got to figure out all the all the parts of the settlement that are going to be distributed, the uh, costs of the a lawsuit, uh, attorney's fees, medical bills, and so forth. Well, both Medicare and Medicaid are entitled to seek reimbursement for what they pay out. So in this particular case, Stacy had significant medical bills that were paid for by Medicaid. So Medicaid essentially puts a lien, meaning they can recover from the entire amount of the settlement, um, and they had to get paid back. So there's an organization, it's called the Centers for Medicare and Medi Medicaid Services, CMS, and they're charged with the responsibilities of tracking and enforcing claims uh, for medical costs when settlements have been reached. Uh, so before you agree to a settlement, if there is a medical bill that's paid for by Medicare or Medicaid, know that the government's going to put a lien, make a claim against that amount of money, and that is going to have to be paid back to the government.